Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, there were only two tornadoes that developed from yesterday's setup. The one that was out by Pella, Iowa, uh, that was a brief tornado. And then we also had the violent tornado that uh, was produced right around the Chicago metro, especially the Naperville area that caused all that damage that we've been showing you uh, throughout the morning. Now, as we've been mentioning, the National Weather Service heading out to those areas today to do surveys to see just how strong the tornado was and also what else could have led to the damage that people are seeing in those areas this morning. Now, fortunately, the weather pattern gets a little more quiet as we get into the start of the work week. That cold front still going to be the focus for the severe weather threat today. As you can see, a slight risk extending uh, from Ohio all the way through Pennsylvania and even up into Maine. A marginal risk all the way down into Texas, but we don't have a chance for severe weather today. In fact, we don't have any rain chances in the works for today and even into most of tomorrow. Following yesterday's cold front, we're going to see dry conditions move in. Just got to get through a little cloud cover this morning and also a breeze out of the northwest. You can see temperatures pretty comfortable as you head out the door this morning. We're looking at low 60s across much of the area. Those winds, this is why you may want to keep a firm grip on that steering wheel if you're traveling uh, this morning. We have winds between 15 to 20 miles per hour. Probably have a few areas that are seeing wind gust upwards of 25 miles per hour. But out there, we're starting to see a few breaks in the clouds, especially out towards the west of Rockford and Rochelle, mainly towards our areas near the Mississippi River. But we have mostly cloudy skies over much of the area. Thankfully, the cloud cover is going to give way to some sunshine as we head into the afternoon because not only are we seeing a cooler air mass work its way in, but also a drier air mass behind this cold front. As we get into this afternoon, we're going to see temperatures back in the low 70s and it's been so warm so far during the month of June that we haven't seen a high temperature at the airport below that 80 degree mark. But as cooler air filters in, that's going to be bringing us into the uh, low 70s today, mid 70s as we get into tomorrow. Then we'll be back in the low 80s for Wednesday. Uh, but each start to the work week has gotten progressively cooler as we've carried on throughout the month of June. Now let's take a look at all that using Futurecast. You can see as we head into the afternoon, still a mix of clouds and sunshine. That breeze is going to be uh, easing up as we work our way into the evening hours. Tonight going to be a cooler night overall dropping into the upper 40s. By tomorrow morning we're going to start Tuesday off with plenty of sunshine then see a few clouds build in as we roll into the late day hours. Could see a sprinkle or shower as we get into Tuesday night. Now also with this cold front not only bringing us cooler temperatures but relief from the humidity. Today, tomorrow and Wednesday you can turn off the air conditioners, open up those windows the next time we see an uptick in heat and humidity is going to be Thursday and Friday. That's also going to lead to our next chance for thunderstorms. 73 degrees for a high today. Clouds slowly decrease. Mostly clear skies tonight. Little cooler. Lows in the upper 40s. Close to 50 degrees tomorrow morning. Then we jump back into the 70s. Mid 70s with mostly sunny skies for Tuesday. And then as you can see, thunderstorm chances holding off until Thursday and Friday. Then we see temperatures on the rise as we go throughout the work week. Whitney? All right.